trenches, and if your arm blown off, you get sent home. So I was thinking, right, you could do the same. Whereas I'll stick out an eye, and that's off. Cos then you could have sent someone over the top who can't see straight. Baldrick, Baldrick, Baldrick. You seem to have forgotten one tiny little detail. The fact that you very well may be the biggest imbecile this side of the Western Front. So you liked it? <laughs> no. Oh well, back to trench life it is then. I guess it's not all that bad though. I mean, we got great catering. <laughs> Baldrick, make me a cup of coffee, will you? But try to make it taste a little less like hot mud this time. <laughs> That's impossible, sir. It is mud. <laughs> <laughs> we got great living conditions as well. I mean, it's just like living back in the East End of London, you know. Sewerage under your feet. <laughs> Tight. Cramp spaces with friendly neighbours as well. Hello! <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I must admit, my favourite part is working with my best friend, Captain Blackadder. Hey, Captain Blackadder, do you want to play a game of I Spy? I've got one for you, Baldrick. I spy with my little eye something that begins with come here and ends with oh. Come here. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I just wish that phone would hurry up and ring and give us the orders to go over the top. Oh, I can't wait to meet my inevitable fate. <laughs> you know, get slaughtered for king and country, die for that extra inch on the Western Front. What about you, George? Oh, yes! I can't wait to give the French a taste of our British spunk! Unlike you idiots, I'd prefer to survive this war. <laughs> Captain Blackadder speaking. Yes, Captain Blackadder, it's Captain Darling. <laughs> you are to. What was that? Uh, there appears to be some interference on the line. <sighs> schnell, schnell! Captain Blackadder, there appears to be a terrible line at our end. You are to bounce on the enemy at once! Shh. Well, apparently there was a terrible lion up his end and an advance to an enemy at once. <laughs> Tea, anyone? You know, it's no fun in games, though. I mean, there was this one time when there was a sneaky German spy in our trench, Baldrick. You see anything? Be sure to let me know. German spies. German spies. German. Hey, Smith, you haven't seen any German spies, have you? Nine! Nine? <laughs> I thought there was only one. <laughs> I don't understand. I mean, why do we have to have this war? Why couldn't we just have peace? <laughs> Being attacked already! Playing Captain Blackadder. I mean, it's the first brilliant plan us Baldricks have had since well, my ancestor. Yes, Baldrick! You are accused of stealing another man's undergarments! <laughs> How do you plead? Not guilty, they smell like mine! Oh. You hear my sentence to life imprisonment in the colony of New South Wales! Well, well, well. <laughs> what do we have here? A bunch of useless criminals, by the looks of it. Here, you will do exactly as I, Governor William Guy, tell you to. Now get to work! 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 Oh! 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 <laughs> do you mind? I'm trying to dig a hole over here. Sick and tired of this hellhole. Ch 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 <clears throat> I've got it. A cunning plan. Excuse me, Governor Bly. Uh, I was wondering if I could work over there today. You know, next to the fence. The one that separates us from this jail and freedom. Why on earth would you want to do that? 
Oh no, I don't want to do that. Uh, I'm a really big fan of fences, sir. <laughs> and uh, working next to such a beautifully constructed fence will motivate me to work hard. I do what you like. Just get out of my sight. Thank you, sir. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, it would have been a good plan. That is if they would have settled somewhere else besides Sydney. Apparently got eaten by a killer wombat in the end. <laughs> Could you imagine what it would be like if the Germans win the war? We'd have the crazy Kaiser running the free world. Imagine that, a lunatic running the free world. Whoa! <laughs> oh, Georgie boy, you got all this money. What are you going to do with it? Education. Or war. Education? Nah, screw it. War, yeah! <laughs> oh, you're going to be king of the world, George. You got God on your side. But, but, Mr. President, what about all the, the poor and educated Americans? What about them? It's their fault to think they're poor in the land of opportunity. But, but, Mr. President, what about all the innocent women and children that'll die as a result of the war? What about them? Wrong place, wrong time. But, but, Mr. President, what about all the American soldiers? What about them? They knew what they signed up for. Collateral damage. The cost of the war in Iraq, President Bush said it's all worth it to continue our war of terror. I mean, I own terror. The cost of the war, over 900 billion taxpayer dollars. U.S. soldiers killed, over 4,000. Civilians killed, somewhere between 50,000 and 600,000. The American economy, a foreign policy, knowing that I'm gonna get blown to pieces by Ahmed and Mohammed, priceless. For everything else, there's soldiers like me and great leaders like President Bush. Remember, old men start the wars and the young like me fight them. Wait. <laughs>